Herzlich willkommen, Debbie Weinstein, Präsident Google im EMEA-Bereich. Hi, good to see you. Welcome. Good to see you too. Thank you so much. Welcome on stage. Thank you. Nice to have you here. Thank wow, you. EMEA, it's a, it's a big region. It is a big region. Yeah. How many countries you're responsible We're in about for? 35 different locations across okay. Middle East and Africa. How many people are around? I had 30,000, around 30 people? Around, exactly. Wow, exactly. that's a tough job. <laughs> yeah. I'm very excited about it. It's a real honor. Thanks for your time. Yeah, nice great. to have you here. Okay, on, great. Uh, Fish Bus. Thank uh, you so much. Have fun with Debbie Weinstein. Thank you. Hello, OMR. <clears throat> It's really great to be here. Now, I grew up in a small town outside of Boston, Massachusetts, on the northeast of the United States. And as kids, my brother and I, we were curious about everything. I loved to read, and I loved to learn information on every topic that I could. I can remember at eight years old, I used to spend hours on end working on projects on different types of cats, on the solar system, and the absolute best way to make chocolate chip cookies. In my family, insatiable curiosity, it was a core value. And access to reliable information, it was key to feeding it. And I think that's why, when I left a career in marketing and took on a leadership position at Google about a decade ago, it felt like coming home. Our audacious mission, to organize the world's information, to make it universally accessible and useful. It felt so personal to me. Now, across my career, I have seen a number of different platform shifts. I can remember that first shift right onto the internet, when we had access to the information superhighway at the tips of our fingers. And then I remember the platform shift to mobile, where we had the power of a computer in the palm of our hands. But those shifts, they pale in comparison to the shift underway right now with AI. AI is the most profound and exciting technology of our lifetimes. It has the potential to create huge economic value and societal benefit. And at Google, we're already using AI to make that a reality. We're accelerating scientific breakthroughs, we're solving complex problems, and we're transforming businesses. And I'll share just a few examples. I think of the work we're doing with AlphaFold. AlphaFold is the world's first AI model to win a Nobel Prize. It's being used now by millions of scientists around the world, and it's accelerating drug discovery by literally billions of years. And then there's Firesat. Firesat is a first-of-its-kind satellite technology that uses AI, and it provides near real-time insights about wildfires around the world. Or Notebook LM. Notebook LM was noted as one of Time Magazine's best innovations of 2024. It becomes an instant expert in your documents, It helps you read, take notes, organize your ideas. At Google, AI is allowing us to rethink the impossible and to improve the lives of billions around the world. Every day, we are innovating to solve some of the world's most intractable problems. And yet, search remains our greatest moonshot. I'm really delighted to be here today to share with you how we're using AI to become radically more helpful in serving people's curiosity, how it's helping to make search more relevant and more useful for people and for businesses than ever before. Now, search is fundamentally about serving people's boundless curiosity. Now, as you heard in the video, every year, More than five trillion searches happen on Google. That's trillion with a T. And every day, 15% of those searches are brand new. They have literally never been asked before. I find that extraordinary, that over 25 years after Google search was invented, 
people are still finding so many new questions to ask. We've organized billions of facts, and we provide trusted information in the blink of an eye. And AI is supercharging search. It's reshaping consumer behavior. It's allowing us to be more relevant without sacrificing on quality information. AI is enabling us to both ask questions in new ways, and it's enabling us to provide answers in new ways too. When it comes to the way that we can ask questions, now we can ask more questions, and we can do it in the ways that are most natural to us. I'll share a few examples. I think first about Google Lens. Now, Google Lens takes the power of computer vision and AI and puts them together and allows you to search for what you see. And I'll share a personal example from my own life. I love to cook. And recently, I've been trying to perfect this one lentil soup recipe that my mom makes. Hers is smooth and creamy and delicious, but mine, it was turning out kind of grainy, and I realized I was missing one key ingredient: the perfect blender. Now, fast forward a few weeks, I was at a friend's house, and she made delicious butternut squash soup. It was pureed to perfection. So I took a look in her kitchen. I took out my phone. I opened Lens. I took a picture of the blender I saw on her counter, and a few clicks later, here it is on my counter at home. And now my lentil soup is delicious too. Now Lens is one of the most popular ways and fastest-growing types of search. We see it being used more than 25 billion times every single month, and one in four of those searches has commercial intent. Like my blender example, and then there's Gemini Live. Now you can go live with Gemini. You can share your screen, or you can share your camera, and Gemini can surf the web or see the world around you. This enables Gemini to be your interior designer, your personal stylist, or in my case, my chef's assistant. I recently used it by taking Gemini Live and pointing it at a number of different bottles of wine to choose the perfect wine to serve with a roasted chicken dinner that I was making. And then there's Circle to Search. Circle to Search was developed because we saw a lot of popularity with Lens, and what Circle to Search allows you to do is actually search from right where you are in an app on over 250 million Android devices. With Circle to Search, you can circle, you can scribble, you can highlight, and you can tap and get the information right there. And we're finding that Circle to Search is particularly resonating with Gen Zs, that 18 to 24-year-old audience that's sometimes the first to take on new technologies and push the limits of what's possible. Circle to Search is using more and more. In fact, we saw in Q1 a nearly 40 percent increase in the number of searches with Circle to Search. So those are some of the ways that we're able to ask questions in new ways with AI. But how about the ways that we're able to provide answers in new ways too? Well, that brings us to AI overviews. AI overviews is one of the biggest improvements we have made to Google Search in 20 years. AI overviews allow you to get started and dive deeper. With AI overviews, we're able to answer questions that were too complicated to show up on a single page. It brings together the power of AI and provides a conversational summary. It pulls together the key information and shows you where to look to find more. Let's take a look with my grainy soup example. There you go, and AI overviews. It's now available right here in Germany. It's reaching over 1.5 billion users around the world in 100 different countries, and people are loving it. In fact, people who use AI overviews, they search more, they visit a wider diversity of websites, and most importantly, they are more satisfied with their results. Which is why we heard that people were asking for AI responses to more of their search queries, and why earlier this year we launched AI mode as an experiment in the U.S. 
Now, AI mode asks you, allows you to ask even more nuanced or more complicated questions. You literally can now ask Google anything. You can get answers to super complex technical questions. Or you can get help with complicated tasks, like help me compare different insurance options for a new pet. The same way that AI is supercharging search, it's also supercharging how we work with all of you in the marketing community. The world that we are facing into now is more complex and more complicated than ever. Every day, on average, consumers are visiting over 130 mobile touch points, and they're making more than 35,000 decisions. They are seamlessly moving across, searching and shopping and streaming and scrolling, with no two purchase journeys ever the same. If you are a marketer today, then the only thing that is predictable about your consumer is that they are predictably unpredictable. And in this world, no single marketer, no team of marketers, no agency group can keep up with this pace of complexity and change. And that is why it is so important that the same AI that powers search powers our ad campaigns. It allows you to put the most helpful message in front of the most relevant user. It allows you to create content and produce assets in a matter of minutes or hours that might have taken days or weeks or even months. And it allows you to do measurement and optimization in real time. And that is why marketing is one of the most proven ROI use cases for AI that we have ever seen. Let's take a look at one example from one of our partners, Audi. Now, Audi was looking to grow by finding new customers and do it profitably. And they came to us and they said, how can we use the latest techniques of AI to make sure our advertising is keeping up with the world as it stands today? So we started together by using Broadmatch. Now, Broadmatch is key because it allows you to keep up with all of the changes in search behavior that I was describing earlier in this presentation. In the case of Audi, they started with a generic term like electric car. And then they allow the algorithm to find over a million new relevant ways to ask that search. They coupled broad match with value-based bidding. And value-based bidding allowed them to make sure they were ascribing the right value to those connection points. Because obviously, if someone is looking at an online review, they are not as far down the purchase funnel as someone who's booking a test drive. Now, putting these two techniques together, broad match and value-based bidding, Audi was able to deliver extraordinary results. They saw their customer acquisition costs drop by 60%, and their ROI on search nearly doubled. And they are not alone. Marketers who've deeply embedded AI into their tools and processes, they're growing their revenue 60% faster than their peer set. And they're keeping up with consumer trends twice as fast. How is it that Google is helping to make that difference? It's because Google is where discovery starts and where decisions are made. Now, when it comes to discovery, people come to Google search with an open mind. In fact, we find that 80% of Google's ad spend on web search is actually with users who are interested in exploring information and finding out different options. And 63% of consumers tell us that they would be open to buying from a brand they've never heard of before. And how about that ultimate moment of decision making? Google is the number one shopping resource that consumers say they'd have the hardest time making shopping decisions without. Now, others may say that Gen Z or other audiences are increasing dis discovery or deciding on social media. But research shows that social-inspired, spontaneous purchases are low. People want to research before they purchase. 
even when they've been inspired by something they've discovered in social media, consumers come to Google search to explore their options. It stands to reason. You want to know what other people are saying. You want to know what the prices are. You want to know that you've considered all of your options before you make a purchase. And what about that key Gen Z audience? Well, here in Germany, 79% of Gen Zs use Google for their shopping, whether that's browsing or researching or purchasing. And around the world, we see that social media users, 70% of them, they use Google search to evaluate their purchases that they discover in their feeds. And that is why Google is where you need to be, because that is why your customer is deciding between you and your competitor. And if you're not there, they'll go to your competitor. Now, across the decade that I have been at Google, I have found two things to be true. The first is that human curiosity is boundless. And the second is that those who are keeping up with the big shifts, they are the ones that are winning. At Google, we're putting those two things together. We're creating a future of search that's more relevant and more helpful for users than ever before. We're helping people express their boundless curiosity in the ways that come most naturally to them. And the best marketers, they're keeping up with that pace of change. They're keeping up with consumers' boundless curiosity, and they're using the latest techniques of AI to make their advertising work harder. Now, as I close my talk today, I want to ask you one question. How might you embrace your own curiosity? What are the questions that you have about how AI might help you accelerate growth or drive profits in your business? Because at Google, we don't want to just help you sell, run better ads. We want to help you run a better business. I hope you'll come visit us at the Google House this week, where we can explore what questions we can ask and answer together. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Great to be here. I appreciate it. So nice to have you here. Thank you. Enjoy your time at the Omer Festival. Debbie Weinstein, meine Damen und Herren.